Yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. It is Jacob from Tiny Tapes here bringing you guys a brand new video. And today we're going to be going over this really cool, insane, trippy music video effect. If you guys want to go download the project file, it will be linked in the description below. This is for After Effects. I'm just going to quickly show you the before and then the after. If you guys like videos and tutorials just like these and you guys want to go support us so you can see more of them, make sure you guys go check out our editing packs. They're linked in the description below. There is something there for everybody, trust me, and there is more than enough assets to spice up your videos for months on end. Anyways, guys, without further ado, let's hop right into the tutorial. All right, guys, so as you can see here, we are in After Effects. This is the full effect breakdown here. So basic rotoscope that I have on the footage, background footage, and then we have this cool blob effect here that I'm gonna be showing you guys how I created it. So if you mix that in with the background and then with the rotoscope, you have this effect here. And then I threw on a little CRT overlay that's actually in one of my editing packs, the CRT scan overlay packs. If you guys wanna go check those out, I'll have them linked in the description. I threw that on top there with a sapphire flicker on top of it, just to give it that CRT look. As you guys can see, you can see the bits in behind. So I'm just gonna play this out for you guys. Let's full screen it. We're going to start off by rotoscoping the clip, which is separating trippy red from the background of the shot. If you guys want to see a more in-depth rotoscope tutorial, I'll have mine. It is linked in the description below. I highly recommend if you guys haven't rotoscoped before to go check out that tutorial before starting on this effect. So first off to rotoscope, we're going to double click on the layer here so we can open it as a layer. We're going to go over to our rotoscope tool up here in the top left, and then we're just going to cut them out. All right, so now that I have them cut out, we're just going to go through it to make sure that the roto is proper. I'm not going to make this the most amazing rotoscope on the entire world because uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I just want it to be faster for you guys. But I highly recommend you guys take your time on this and make it as perfect as possible. So we're going to go back to the composition. As you can see, he's rotoed out. We're going to go over. I highly recommend you guys do this as well. We're just going to turn up the feathers so the edges are more blurry and they're not as straight on. And then we're just going to set back the shift edge a little bit, just like so. And I think that is pretty cool the way it is. What you're going to do next is you're going to click on the layer, control D, D, control D twice. So we have three layers. We're going to go to the very bottom one. We're going to delete the roto brush. So it goes back to the regular clip. And that means the top two here are rotoscoped, as you can see, the top two. And then the one at the bottom is not. So this leaves us a lot of room to play with. The way this effect is gonna work and the way many effects work nowadays is we have two rotoscopes and then the one in between we apply the effects on and have it kind of warp around as we're gonna do in this tutorial. All right, so to start off, what you're gonna do is you are going to apply Mr. Mercury, CC Mr. Mercury onto the second layer. And then we are gonna turn up the velocity here. Let me just turn this one clip off here. Make sure we're in the composition. We're gonna turn up the velocity here to around 1.92 ish, just so we have all of these crazy unique bubbles here, just like so. The effect already looks cool as is. It looks like kind of like a water splashing effect. We're gonna make it even cooler. We're gonna keyframe radius X and radius Y. We're gonna go to the very end and we're gonna make sure that radius Y zero, keyframe them both at zero at the beginning, go to the very end and then bring the radius X up to about Whatever you guys think is proper, it's all mushed in together and I'm gonna bring it so it's just not all mushed in. So I'm, I'm thinking like around uh, around here. So it's still kind of together, but not as much as the beginning. Around 300 there. Hit U on our keyboard to pull up the keyframes. And then radius Y, I'm gonna bring that around there, around 300. So let's play that back here. Not bad, we're gonna play it with the roto on. Not bad, I like it, but it could be better. What we're gonna do to make it better is we're gonna click on the clip, hit S so it brings up scale. Let's scale this up a lot and then center it right there. Kind of fills the frame more with this effect. I'm gonna move it up a tiny bit more. And then onto the next step, what we're gonna apply next is chromatic aberration from universe. We're gonna drag and drop that onto the layer. And I say we bring the distortion amount down. So as you can see, when I bring it down, see what it does there, it makes the image pop in a lot more. So I'm going to bring that down all the way to minus eight. And as you can see, it's kind of look, looking weird. It has all the different RGB layers there. But uh, we're going to find a way to blend that to make it look a lot more professional. We are going to add our camera lens blur. Drag and drop that onto the clip. And then we're going to turn that up. So it turns all these little layers that are separated sort of into a blob. Just like so. So let's play this through. Now, I think that we've added the chromatic aberration and we've added all these things. I'm just going to turn the scale down a little bit on this. All right, I think that looks pretty good. On to the next step, we're going to add our sapphire 
flicker sapphire flicker is just one of those go-to presets man like it's amazing you can add it on almost every effect and it just spices it up a lot so we're gonna turn the amplitude up and let's see that flicker yeah it's going crazy there in the background all right now on to the next one we're gonna apply universe heat wave and we're just gonna turn the heat intensity all the way up the flow speed all the way up and the blur amount all the way up just to give it that a lot more distorted effect so as you can see what it's doing to the edges there it's just bringing them out a lot more and they're going to be moving. I think the next step is HLS color, HLS color balance. We're going to keyframe that at the very beginning. We're going to go to the very end and then we are going to turn this wheel to that. Whatever you guys think, what that's going to do is it's going to make it rotate the colors really, really fast. Um, I think we should add more, maybe about three rotations. I liked it a lot so far. Let's add some RSMB. If you guys don't have RSMB, I'm going to be making a whole tutorial in the future explaining it. It is the most, it's, it's the most coded effect. Like it, top tier but we're going to be adding that onto the footage and then i say about one just kind of blends everything in together more uh rsmb is basically just motion blur for the footage so as you can see like for example like this here looks really rough we apply rsmb look at it everything kind of has motion blur and it puts the effect together more and sells it so playing this through for you guys all right, and then next we're going to be applying Turbulence Displace. Let's drag and drop that on. And then the way Turbulence Displace works, I'll just show you guys here. The more amount that you play with it and mess around with it, it wiggles the image around. So I think we're gonna start, let's play with it. Uh, let's start at 165, keyframe that at the beginning, and then we're also gonna keyframe the evolution. And then let's go all the way, bring that all the way to around. 160 as well so it goes from minus 165 to 160 and then we're also going to keyframe the evolution here so it wiggles around let's keyframe that around three rotations and it's totally up to you guys if you guys want to turn the turbulence displace on that much as you can see it is wiggling around a lot if you guys like that look if you guys want to have it look different uh the look that i had towards the beginning of the video for the other one the original one i did you can just turn that amount off and then keyframe it at 50 and then change it to how you like if you want to have it warp a crazy amount like before uh, do the keyframes that i showed you but if you want to keep it more basic and stable i recommend just not keep framing the amount and leaving it around 50 to 80. and i just make these tutorials so you guys can take all these tips and change them around and apply it to something that you like all Always mess around with the amount, the size, evolution, or any controls for all the effects that I'm showing you. Just mess it around and remember to make it your own. Don't copy this exactly. I think we actually need to turn down the evolution. It is moving way, 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 way too fast. Let's bring that to about one, then we'll do about one and a half. See how this looks. All right, I think that looks pretty good there. I like that. Once again, if you guys don't like the way that's warping, mess around with the turbulence display settings there. And then I think the final step now, if you guys don't like the way it's warping in the background, remember to play with the turbulence displace. You can change that all to your liking. And then for the final step, we're going to be using a CRT overlay from my CRT overlay pack. If you guys want to go cop them, they're linked in the description below. A shit ton of CRT overlays that you guys can use for your videos. If you guys don't have a CRT TV, create the effect. You guys can use the overlays. It gives a pretty accurate effect, in my opinion. So we're just going to open up the CRT overlays here and then i like this one the black texture here i'm just going to drag this one on here the 05 drag this into the project i'm going to scale it down so it's perfect just like that and then we're going to be dragging that just below the top roto so i want to have it on the background and not actually on trippy himself uh, we're going to be changing the blend mode to color dodge and then let's change the opacity to about 30 percent there see how that looks i like that a lot it kind of has a flicker to it but we're going to be adding our own search flicker uh where is it sapphire flicker drag and drop that on the crt overlay and then you guys can turn the amplitude to whatever you want i'm gonna go crazy with it and as you can see this is like the way it's flickering so uh you guys can do it to your liking i think i'm gonna leave it around like 20 ish and as you can see the flickering is going crazy there towards the end and yeah guys that is the effect there if you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure to like and subscribe for more and if you guys actually want to download this project file i'll have it linked in the description below you guys can download it so you guys can go play around with it yourself and learn everything from this project instead of going off and doing it on your own footage i will have everything linked in the description below for you guys to download if you guys want to go step up the quality of your videos in a really easy way i highly recommend checking out my editing packs they'll be linked in the description below as well alongside the project files and i will see you guys in the next one